Hey, this is Luke. Did you know Pythagoras had a great beard like me? He also had a very famous theorem. Let's check it out. Let's look at the theorem here. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. What does this all mean? This is just talking about the sides of the triangle. a is the opposite, b is the adjacent, and c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side, and for Pythagoras, you don't really need to worry about the others. When do you use Pythagoras? Well, you use Pythagoras when you know two sides of a right angle triangle, and you want to find the third. That's the only time. Now let's look at an example. So here we have a triangle with measurement seven, eight, and we want to find the length of this side C. We can clearly see that this side C is the hypotenuse. So that's gonna sub in for C squared into our formula. Let's write down our formula as from before. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. For the seven and eight here, it doesn't matter which one you sub in as A and which one you sub in as B, as long as you don't sub them in as C. Sub in seven for A here, seven squared plus eight squared is equal to C squared. Now it's just a case of solving this out for C. Seven squared is gonna give us 49 plus eight squared, which is going to be 64 is equal to c squared. Add this 49 and 64 together, and we're gonna have 113 is equal to c squared. And now we just need to square root both sides to get rid of that square over the c, and we'll have c. So the square root of 113 is equal to c, which, if you put that into your calculator, comes out to be c is equal to 10.6 centimeters. And that, is Pythagoras made easy.